here and welcome back to my channel today we are back for another um, speed building video for my renovation series on my channel today we are um, renovating the um, 10.1 <laughs> minute um, challenge by that um, the sim supply or james turner did on his channel I wanted to do a renovations for his build just because I really loved the way he did this build. It's very simple, it's very cute. But then I decided to make it more um, detailed or furnish it more and add a lot of stuff to it, a lot of things to it. And basically I changed a lot of it except that I didn't um, change anything with the 5x5 five five, um, box that he made or the, the layout of the way he did it except that I moved the, the stairs and then I added um, I added a room below it and an outdoor seating area on the second floor so basically um, the main build or the main part of his build is intact I just added some things that I think can add to it not really change the way um, or I mean I did change it <laughs> what I me meant was um, I didn't really want to um, how do I say this I didn't really want it to look very similar to how it did before so I changed a lot of things as you can see it looked very different right now except that I didn't really um, change the how it looked um, like the shape of it so yeah <laughs> I guess that's very hard to explain <laughs> but yeah anyways if you guys are enjoying don't forget to leave a like if you are having fun watching this I hope you are I hope you will enjoy so yeah um, if you guys are curious as to what I do with my life and to stay updated on whatever I do with it and the channel you can follow me on Facebook Instagram Twitter Pinterest and of course origin and the Sims 4 gallery just so that um, you can stay updated with whatever I do because if you guys have already known I'm not really that consistent right now with the uploading just because a lot of things are happening in my life and I don't know if you guys have watched some of my past builds before you will know uh you will know <laughs> you will know a bit of my situation so i hope you guys won't mind i will try my best right now to be able to upload um i can't guarantee to upload consistently but i am hoping to upload a lot more compared to before and i apologize if my dog barked if you were able to hear that just because She's right next to me and some noise I don't know <laughs> but yeah anyways as you can see um, the idea that I had for this build was a very um, open build a very sunlit build and a very aquatic build just because of this floor um, I really loved the idea of having those water features as walls just because it adds a lot of um, indirect light to the house like as you can see there's the windows doesn't really have any way of having direct sunlight so the water or the sunlight passes through the water and stuff like that uh, yeah <laughs> so we have um, a very a different type of natural light so I really love that idea so I kept it that's why this is a very different it appears different from what the sim supply had but I still love it and yeah anyways um, this build used a lot of different stuff packs which I have of course um, I think I used a lot of the uh, parenthood and cats and dogs well, most of it those windows are spotty I think but yeah, um, if you guys want this in your game or if you guys want to renovate it too, 
you can find it on the gallery so as soon as this video is up the bird itself will be on the gallery so you can download it put it in your game renovate with it play with it or just about anything that you want to do with it i really do want to see what you guys will be able to create with this build or how you can change it too so if you guys um have played with this build already or you have it in your game i would really appreciate it if you guys could send me a picture if you did re um redecorate it and stuff like that you can you can send it to me on um at pixie pace on twitter because that's where i am most active and yeah anyways right now we are on the second floor um the layout of the house is very simple it can be a bit um cramped for some people but for me i think it had a very cozy feel to it so on the first floor as you have seen earlier we have one bathroom the kitchen dining and an entrance hall or a foyer on the second floor as you can see we have the outdoor seating area with a grill um we have the living area or the living room we have at first i was thinking of just doing this as a study area but then whilst i was doing it and then i saw that i think i could fit a single bed there i made it as um a teen's bedroom so later on you will see that i placed a bed a wardrobe and stuff like that that a teen might need in his or her room. i think this is her room but you'll never know maybe some guys would prefer to have pink and purple in their room and the dogs on of my neighbor is barking hope you guys can hear that i apologize if you do but yeah i hope you can pass that but yeah anyways here we go so as you can see the color scheme of this room is pink purple and black um just because i rarely use that color of that bit i usually use um the blue and green and then the other one that is the same color but a different style but anyways um here we put in the wardrobe because that's the only thing that can fit in there i didn't really want to delete the walls there just because i wanted to use that um wardrobe just because i never really use it i usually use the two city living wardrobes a base game wardrobe i think the tall one or the other one I, I don't really remember and then I really love the cats and dogs wardrobes but anyways this room has a television like um, both rooms have televisions and yeah um, they're very simple compared to what I did below or the first floor because the first floor had a lot of details a lot of clutter a lot of decorations for the the bedroom and the living area they're just simple just the chairs the tv the necessities and then i just added some wall decors for this room simply because it is a teen's bedroom and when i was a teen i know that i i can remember that i put a lot of um clutter in my room like whenever i had the if you um if you're the, from the philippines you'll know that when you graduate from a private school or elementary school you have their loyalty um, ribbons and stuff like that i have those in my room i decorated it with pictures and stickers and stuff like that so yeah um and then right now we are furnishing the last floor of the build which is i could say the main bedroom master's bedroom with an ensuite and stuff like that but yeah um this bedroom was a bit hard to furnish just because it's very tiny and i love putting a lot of details to the build so i had to turn around items i had to fit items in so it's a very simple master's bedroom it has a very cute color scheme of purple and orange i don't really put anything else except for a television in there um i don't remember if i placed the carpet because right now i think as you can see i went back to the living area to put a uh, um to put a rug and then here i don't think i did i just added a lot of the tv a chair and a tiny table like a vanity table 
if ever. And then the bathroom has... I was able to fit in a shower with a tub. You will see later on how I did it, how it works. And of course, it is functional. So I had to test run it on the other side of the lot. Which you guys might see later on that I have like a tiny structure there that I was playing around with. Just to make sure that the bathroom will work. Because um, as if you guys have watched my previous video, you will know that I talked about how I don't test run my builds in the game. And that... Um, some of you guys are are seeing that I have to so of course I have to it's just that sometimes I get excited with the build and I just furnish it all the way and then I forgot to or I forget to decorate it but anyways I will end my commentary here thank you thank you so much guys for watching if you guys enjoyed pinch that like button down below if you have any comments suggestions ideas opinions or just about anything that you guys want to share with us here on my channel don't be afraid to comment it down below because I do love so much how you guys interact with me through the comments and of course if you are new to my channel i would really really appreciate it if you guys could subscribe because um i put this channel to share my creations to you guys not only to the sims community but also to those who are interested in the game or interested in my content maybe you guys might want to buy the game and find things that can um, tickle your interest and stuff like that <laughs> but yeah and in hopes of course to give you and your sims joy and happiness i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope you are still here on the screenshots with me and i hope to see you guys on my next video